Hello class, today we're working on prepositions and prepositional phrases. So a preposition is a word that shows how other words in a sentence are related. Words such as about, by, in, of, on, to, and under are prepositions. A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and ends with a noun or a pronoun. The noun or pronoun is called the object of the preposition. All right, so in this sentence, the emperor's penguins of Antarctica spend winter on the open ice. All right, so we have two prepositions. We have of and on. And we have an object or noun, ice, okay? And then we also have another one, Antarctica, which is a pronoun. All right, so a preposition tells about the relationship between the object of the preposition and another word in the sentence. So look at these sentences. Emperor penguins swim under the ice when they hunt. In the first sentence, the preposition under tells about the relationship between ice and the verb swim. I recently saw a movie about these amazing penguins. In the second sentence, the preposition about tells about the relationship between penguins and the noun move. A prepositional phrase sometimes tells how, when, where, and what kind, or what kind. In the sentences you just read, the prepositional phrase under the ice tells where the penguins swim. The prepositional phrase about these amazing penguins tell what kind of movie it was. So prepositions are a word such as in, on, or through and many, many others. I've attached some documents so you can see the top hundred. It is used before a noun and shows the relationship between the noun and another part of part such as place, position, or time. So we have around, about, for, in, or to. Prepositional phrases is a phrase that begins with a preposition and contains the object, which is a noun or a pronoun, and any modifiers. So we have before school, on the table, under the bridge, okay? All right, for our guided practice, we're gonna underline the prepositional phrase in each sentence and circle the preposition. Then we're gonna draw an arrow from the object of the preposition, which is a noun or a pronoun, to the word it relates to in the sentence. All right, so number one, emperor and penguins breed in the winter. So we have in the winter, in, and winter relates to breed. Okay, number two, female emperor penguins lay eggs on, on the ice. So we have on the ice, on, and ice relates to the eggs, okay? Males watch the eggs while the females travel to the sea, okay? To the sea, to sea, travel, all right? Number four, the warmth of the male's feathers protect the eggs. Of the male's feathers, of feathers has to do with warmth. And in number five, the females return and provide food for the little chicks. Okay, so we have four and chicks refers to the food. All right, so if we look at these, emperor penguins breed is a simple sentence, okay? But if we add the prepositional phrase in the winter, it tells us more about where the emperor penguins breed, okay? So it adds more detail, more information, all right? So most prepositional phrases will come after the noun or verb they describe, okay? So female emperor penguins lay eggs. That is a complete sentence, but we can add on the ice, and it lets us know where they lay the eggs, okay? So please participate in the discussion, and let me know if you have any questions and answer the questions that I have posed and uh, communicate with each other and let's work through this together. All right.